Now let us discuss about arithmetic operators in JavaScript. First, let's see what is the advantage of arithmetic operators. Arithmetic operators are mainly useful in order to perform operations on numbers. Uh, here, with the help of the arithmetic operators, uh, we can perform operations on strings also. But mainly, we use arithmetic operators to perform operations on numbers. So, the list of arithmetic operators are plus, minus, star, division, modulo, star, star, plus, plus, minus, minus. In JavaScript, plus, plus and minus, minus comes under arithmetic operators only. Whereas in C, C++, Java, plus, plus and minus, minus comes under unary operators. But in JavaScript, plus plus and minus minus. We can write those two operators in arithmetic operators only. So plus stands for addition. If the arguments are numbers, then they are added. Let the first number is 10, second number is 20. So 10 plus 20 means 30 is the output. Whereas if the arguments are strings, then they are concatenated. Let the first string is Java. Let the first string is Java. Whereas second, uh, second string is script. So what is the first string? Let the first string is Java. Whereas second string is script. So if we concatenate these two strings, then we will get Java script. Okay. So that's why we are saying that arithmetic operators can be used to perform operations on numbers as well as strings also. But mainly we use operators, arithmetic operators to perform operations on the numbers. Now let us see the second arithmetic operator minus. So minus stands for subtraction. It performs subtraction on two numbers. Let the first number is 20. Second number is 10. So 20 minus 10 means we will get output as 10. Now let us see the third arithmetic operator star. Star stands for multiplication. So if you want to multiply two numbers, then we use this multiplication operator. Let the first number is 10. Second number is 20. So 10 into 20 means 200 will be the output. Let us see the next operator division operator. This forward slash is called as division operator. Divides the first number by second number. If you want only the integer part, then we have to use parsint method. Otherwise, it will give the floating point number as the output. If, if we take 5 by 2, the result of 5 by 2 is 2.5. Suppose if we want to have only integer part, then we have to apply parsint method. So parsint of 5 by 2 means parsint of what is 5 by 2? 2.5. So parsint of 2.5 means we will get 2 as the result. So that we will see later during the execution. And the next operator is star modulo operator. Percentage. So percentage will give modulo. Division will give quotient. Whereas modulo will give reminder. Okay. Modulo will give reminder. Okay. Next operator is star star operator. Star star means exponentiation operator. Power operator. Let the first number is 5. Second number is 2. Then 5 over 2 means we will get 25 as the output. Next, uh, we will discuss about plus plus and minus minus later. Increment and decrement. First, let us execute uh, these uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These 6 operators practically. So, let us execute the uh, first plus operator. Let us take 2 variables. Let the first variable is A. Let the value of the first variable is 5. Let the second variable is B value of the second variable is 2. Now let us perform the addition operation. So document dot document dot write off document dot write off display the result in header head tag. So h1 a plus b is first let us perform addition operation a plus b is so plus of so perform the addition a plus b here this plus is the concatenation operator. 
this plus is the concatenation operator next after this also we need to use the concatenation operator why because we are placing the content within the header tag now close the parenthesis and ends with semicolon so control s yes. so now we will get output as a plus b is what is the result 7 is the output so let us run the program so a plus b is so we got output as 7 now let us uh, run the remaining uh, operators so control c control c let us run the next one subtraction a minus b is a minus b is plus of a minus b so control s now let us uh, do the multiplication a star b is a star b is concatenate the result concatenation is done with the help of the plus symbol okay next one a by b a by b is plus a by b last operator that is a modulo operator a modulo b is a modulo b is the difference between division and modulo is division will gives quotient whereas modulo will gives reminder next one exponentiation a star star exponentiation is denoted with the help of star star a star star b a star star b so let us run the program let us run the program so if you observe here a plus b is 7 a minus b is 5 minus 2 means 3 5 into 2 means 10 a by b means 2.5 why because by default division will give a floating point number as the result if you want only integer part then we need to apply percent a modulo b <coughs> so 5 modulo 2 means 2 2s are 4 5 minus 1 means 1 modulo will always give reminder 1 a star star b is 5 power 2 so 5 power 2 means 35 okay next now instead of uh, uh, this floating point if we want to have integer then we need to apply parsint method so parsint then we will get only integer part that means uh, integer part in 2.5 is 2 so we will get 2 as the result so that is about uh, basic arithmetic operators next we have two more arithmetic operators plus plus stands for increment minus stands for decrement so let us see about what is increment operator increment operator it increments the value of the variable by 1 it increments the value of the variable by 1 let us see an example here it is not int so instead of int we have to take var var a is equal to 10 then a plus plus means a becomes 1 a becomes 11 a plus plus means the value of the a will be incremented by 1 so a plus plus means we can write it as a is equal to a plus 1 so 10 plus 1 means 11 so we will get 11 as the output okay increment operator is classified into two types first one is pre increment operator second one is post increment operator first let us see what is pre increment operator pre increment operator means pre means first so operator appears first so if an operator appears before the operand it is called as pre increment operator whereas post means last so that means if an operator appears after the operand so pre increment means operator appears first whereas post increment means operator appears last so let's see what is pre increment operator pre increment operator means first incrementation will be done and then value will be used in the expression so first what will happen incrementation will be done and after that value will be used in the expression let us see with the help of an example so let we have uh, two variables where a is equal to 10 comma b b equal to plus plus a plus plus a so here plus plus a is called as what pre increment operator pre increment means first value will be incremented so first a will be incremented so after incrementation a will become 11 and then and after that that value will be assigned to the expression so what is the value of a 11 so 11 will be assigned to b so now it will become 11 let us see about post increment operator 
B is equal to A plus plus. This is called as post increment operator. Post increment operator means first value will be used in the expression and after that incrementation will be done. So what is the value of A? 11. So that value will be used first. So A value will be assigned to B. So now B will become what? 11. And then incrementation will be done. First value will be used and then incrementation will be done. So after incrementation A will become what? 12. Okay. A will become 12. So let us see whether we are getting output correct or not. So let us take another example. So where A is equal to 10 comma B. So B equal to plus plus A. B equal to plus plus A. Display the result. Document dot write off H1 after pre-incrementation after pre-incrementation a is equal to plus a and b is equal to plus b display place the result in the h1 tag okay now let us run the program so after pre-incrementation a value is 11 as well as b value is 11 after pre incrementation, what is A value? 11. And what is B value? 11. Okay. Now let us see the next one. That is post increment operator. Post increment operator. So control C. Post increment means operator appears after the operand. A plus plus. So in place of pre, display post after post incrementation. So what is the output here? What is the output? A value is 12, B value is 11. So let's check whether output is correct or not. A value is 12, B value is 11. A value is 12, B value is 11. Now let us see about uh, pre-decrement operator. Pre-decrement operator is similar to the pre-increment operator. So first value will be decremented. What is the previous value in A? 12. So A will become 11. And then that value will be assigned to the expression. So, B also like B will become 11. So, A value is 11. B value is 11. Okay. Now, let us check whether, whether our uh, output is correct or not. So, B equal to minus minus A. So, pre in place of uh, increment, we have to write decrementation. Control S. So, what is the output here? After pre decrementation, A value will become 11 as well as B value will become 11. So after pre-decrementation, A value is 11 as well as B value is 11. Now let us perform the uh, post-decrementation. Post-decrementation operator is similar to the post-increment operator. So post-decrement operator means first value will be used and then decrementation will be done. Okay. So what is the value of A here previously 11? So that value will be assigned to the B. And after that, A will be decremented. A will become 10. So 10 and 11 will be the output. Okay. Now let us uh, remodify the program. B equal to B equal to A minus minus. Okay. B equal to A minus minus. A minus minus. In place of incrementation, we have to write decrementation. Decrementation. Control S. Let's see what is the output here. A, A value 10, B value 11. A value 10, B value 11. So this is about uh, arithmetic operators in JavaScript.